Hello, everybody. My name is Ron Kelly. Uh, I write and I speak by the name of R. Glenn Kelly, and I am the father of Jonathan Taylor Kelly. Jonathan was an amazing young man born in 1997 with a condition known as hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Uh, in short terms, that means that the left side of his heart failed to develop in the womb. The day he handed him to us, or the day the doctors handed it to us, they said he might not even make it through the night, but he did. Uh, his heart was reconstructed. His prognosis was good. He was supposed to have a normal, long life with some limitations due to only having half a heart. But at the age of 16, after having a wonderful childhood, he did pass away. Uh, he was having a relatively routine surgery. None of them are routine and, and without risk, of course. But during that surgery, his heart did fail on him. And we lost him that day. Um, after I lost Jonathan, I had sat down and wondered who I was at that point. Uh, I had been a father. Uh, father was who I thought I was going to be. I was going to raise a child who was going to one day uh, have a wife. I've had a grandchild. It would be the blueprint for my life. And then once that was gone, I had to sit and wonder who I was. Uh, I went out searching for something that would help me try to understand the grief that men were going through because I recognized that I was grieving differently than those around me and I couldn't find anything. Nothing was directed towards men per se. So I did a little research, and, and, and research is probably the best word for it, but, but why men act differently than women when it comes to emotions. Uh, once I came up with a number of just incredible aha moments, I decided that I was going to put that down in writing. And I wrote my first book, Sometimes I Cry in the Shower. And at that point, there was such a good response from both men and women to understand how men grieve, since there was relatively little information out there for men, that I started going around and speaking to different conferences and different churches and businesses. And I've been doing that since. And I consider that to be something that I do majorly because of the legacy that was left behind for my son. Like most will tell you, most people tell you that it's not natural to bury your child. Uh, and when I did mine, I figured there had to be something that he left behind for me. So I enjoy going around now, if enjoyment is the right word for it, and speaking with other men and women, and thereby trying to help them realize that we are just normal people going through a very bad experience, but we're going to come out the other side okay.